Welcome friends to another session of trigonometry. In this uh, uh, video, we are going to discuss a theorem which says the length of the circumference of a circle bears a constant ratio to its diameter. So all of us know that uh, circumference to diameter of a circle is a very famous constant that's called pi. Cent circumference, circumference of any circle divided by the diameter of that circle is always a constant right and that constant we know that as pi right so now uh, we are going to prove that circumference to diameter ratio for any circle is constant we will not be evaluating the value of pi but we will be proving that for any circle or for all circles the ratio of circumference to its diameter is always a constant how do we prove it so let us draw two concentric circles which is shown here in the figure. So there are two concentric circles with the common center O. Let us also inscribe a regular polygon. So if you see I have shown few of the sides of a regular polygon whose vertices are A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and so on and so forth. This is a N sided regular polygon okay regular polygon means all the sides are equal regular side uh, regular polygon means all the sides are equal now let us say oa dash ob dash oc dash and od od dash are all radii of this outer circle so oa dash o b dash o c dash and od dash these are radii radii of outer circle okay outer circle and similarly uh, oa so all these oa dash ob dash oc dash and od dash cut the inner circle at point a b c and d okay o b and c and d now if that is so then oa OB, OC, and OD are radii of inner circle. Correct. Now, in triangles, let us say OAB, OAB, and OAB, and triangle OA dash, B dash. Clearly, OA by OA dash is equal to OB by OB dash. Why? They are all equal to R by capital R, where R is the radius of the inner circle and capital R is the radius of the outer circle. Okay? This hence, hence, by converse of converse of Halley's theorem which you would have already studied Halley's theorem or which is also called basic proportionality theorem I am writing the acronym BPT basic proportionality theorem we can say that what we can say is AB is parallel to if you see AB is parallel to A dash B dash this is coming from the reverse or oh, sorry the converse of basic proportionality theorem so we can say AB is parallel to A dash B dash A dash B dash similarly if you see similarly BC is parallel to B dash C dash and others like CD is parallel to C dash D dash and so on and so forth so all these are parallel so A B is parallel to A dash B dash like that okay now when they are parallel so what we can say about these let me redraw these two triangles so this is let us say this was our triangle and yeah so this is O this is A this is B this is C sorry A dash and this is B dash right and AB is parallel to A dash B dash that means this angle is equal to this angle 
and uh, this angle is equal to that angle now again in triangle OAB and triangle OA dash B dash what do we observe we observe that angle OAB is equal to angle OA dash B dash because AB is parallel to A dash B dash similarly angle OBA is equal to angle O B dash A dash therefore by AA similarity criteria angle angle similarity criteria we can say triangle OAB is similar to triangle OA dash B dash hence when two triangles are uh, similar what happens the ratio of corresponding sides are equal so hence we can say OA by OA dash right is equal to AB by A dash B dash and this is equal to small r by capital R why small r by capital R because OA is equal to small r and OA dash is equal to capital R right radius of the two circles now let us find out the perimeter of the two polygons now so hence I am saying perimeter perimeter of inner polygon inner polygon upon perimeter of outer polygon I will tell you why I am doing this but let us calculate this so perimeter of inner polygon upon perimeter of outer polygon is nothing but n times n is the side and one side of inner polygon was a b this upon n times a dash b dash isn't it so peri perimeter of inner polygon divided by perimeter of outer polygon is nothing but n times smaller side a b and n time divided by n times the a dash b dash which is the side of the outer polygon if you see this is a b so n times a b n sided polygon it was so n times a b and n times a dash b dash this is a dash b dash and this is a b right this is what the ratio of perimeter of the two polygon okay so hence which is nothing but a b upon a dash b dash and we have just proved above here that a b by a dash b dash is equal to small r by capital R okay by similarity we just proved above now when n tends to infinity right polygon the regular polygon tends to circle the shape will convert get converted into circle so what can we say about the perimeter we can say as n tends to infinity circumference of inner circle upon circumference circumference of outer circle outer circle is equal to small r by capital R hence hence circumference circumference of inner circle by small r is equal to circumference of outer circle by capital R right so if you uh, multiply or uh, divide both sides by 2 what will you get you will get dividing both sides by 2 you will get circumference circumference of inner circle inner circle divided by 2r is equal to circumference circumference of outer circle by 2 capital R and what is 2R 
simply d diameter so hence i can say circumference circumference of inner circle inner circle divided by the diameter of inner circle diameter of inner circle is equal to circumference of outer circle circumference of outer circle divided by dia of outer circle right now this ratio doesn't depend on the size of the circle that is the radius of the circle so hence it is true for all circles so hence we say the ratio of circumference of inner circle upon the dia of inner circle is a constant that is what we had an objective to prove right whether it is any value of r this relation will always hold so hence what do we learn we learn that circumference of any circle divided by diameter of that circle is always a constant value and which we now know is pi